Did you know that within the next few years, NASA's space shuttle will launch and return to the Earth for the last time? For more than 25 years, the shuttle has been the primary way NASA astronauts have traveled above Earth's atmosphere in what we call low Earth orbit. But the next phase of space exploration is going to take us a little bit farther from home. The last time humans walked on the moon was during the Apollo 17 mission back in the early 70s. As part of its new vision for space exploration, NASA figures it's about time to revisit our old lunar stomping grounds. Of course, the space shuttle wasn't designed for that type of flight. So, NASA scientists and engineers are now busy developing Constellation, the next generation space vehicle that will carry astronauts to the moon, to Mars, and maybe beyond. Constellation will be made up of two main parts, the Ares Rocket Launch Vehicle and the Orion Crew Exploration Vehicle. Ares-1 and Orion will be used for the missions to the International Space Station and for the missions to the moon. The Orion will carry the crew. Ares-1 is the rocket that will take Orion into space. The moon missions will also include a second launch. The Ares-5 rocket will carry cargo and the very important Altair, the new lunar lander. Altair and Orion will hook up or rendezvous after the launch and the astronauts will move from Orion into Altair. Altair will then take humans to the moon's surface while Orion continues to orbit around the moon. Remember the shape of the Apollo spacecraft that went to the moon all those years ago? Well, NASA engineers thought, why change something that we know works really well? I want to know more about that. In order to meet the requirements of the vision for space exploration, that shape was chosen. One of the reasons is we have a lot of knowledge of that, that uh, vehicle shape from Apollo. It's a compact shape, so you have less weight, and less weight means less launch vehicle to launch it, so you have smaller launch vehicles, which is um, you know, less expensive. The result, the Orion spacecraft looks very similar to the Apollo spacecraft, except it's a lot bigger. This spacecraft is five meters in diameter and has a mass of almost 25 tons. Unlike Apollo's capsule, which was designed to hold just three astronauts in very cramped quarters, Orion will carry up to six astronauts with more than two and a half times the inside space of the Apollo capsule. And NASA engineers have also borrowed many of the technologies developed during the space shuttle program. Applying all these lessons learned in past missions will help NASA save lots of time and money as they move forward with Constellation. One of the big things that we did with Orion is the Orion vehicle is on top of the launch vehicle, so there's not much chance of damage to the heat shield from debris from the launch vehicle. And the Orion vehicle should have a lot more advanced electronics than Apollo that will allow it to, to do things uh, uh, without the crew, and then it allows the crew to operate it more easily. Orion's launch abort system will be capable of pulling the spacecraft and its crew to safety in the event of an emergency on the launch pad or at any time during ascent before it gets out of the Earth's atmosphere. Orion's power and propulsion systems are in a special section called a service module. It is found right below the Orion capsule, covering the entry heat shield during launch and in-space activities. This helps protect the shield from damage until it's needed. Orion will be launched into low Earth orbit by the Ares-1 crew launch vehicle. To keep the crew as safe as possible, Orion and its abort system will be placed at the top of the Ares-1 rocket. The rest of the two-stage Ares-1 will be stacked on top of each other, or vertically, below the crew vehicle. This design will help stop debris from the booster hitting Orion while it climbs into space. Orion will be able to remain docked to the International Space Station for up to six months, providing a way for the crew to return to Earth at any time. The spacecraft can stay in lunar orbit without any astronauts on board, while the astronauts visit the surface of the moon. This could be as long as six months. Orion will be able to carry pressurized cargo to the International Space Station without a crew at all. NASA wants to have Orion flying its first missions to the space station by the year 2014, and possibly make its first trip to the moon sometime around 2020. After that, scientists are hoping that the same Orion and Ares spacecraft combination can be used to take humans to the next planet from our sun, Mars. The next 20 years will be incredibly exciting for NASA and everyone interested in America's space exploration program. So strap on your helmets and stay tuned for more exciting developments.